It's been a long time that I have been using this Boat Rockers 333 ANC. I actually needed an upgrade. It is about time to unbox the Realme Buds Wireless 3. Ordered it from Amazon for about 1600 rupees and I thought this is a really great deal. And here the packaging looks really nice. On top we have this Realme Buds Wireless 3 and I ordered it on the white and black color. This is how it looks like. And on the sides of the package we have the Realme logo right here. And on the top, you will find the features of this particular headphone. MRP coded on the box, it's about 3000 rupees. That's a little bit too much. It also has the Realme Link app support. Overall, the packaging here, it's pretty much like ripped off as you can see. Okay, so even the seal, it seems like it's broken or something. I don't know why, but yeah, I've ordered it from Amazon. So this is the unboxing experience. Let's try to open it up. All right, so this is how the packaging actually looks like. So I'll just keep the box aside and here this is the product itself and this is kind of a white plastic kind of thing and here I can open it for the other accessories I guess. Looks like two pair of ear tips are there in here and there is a leaflet. Looks like a user manual but yeah, I'll just keep it aside and this is the package. There is no USB cable for charging. You have to use your mobile charger as it's type C. Well, first impression seems really nice. Yes, everything is plastic, but yeah, overall the build quality in the hand seems nice. And here on the sides, you will get a little bit more of plastic wraps, which I'll open right now. There is a Realme branding stuff over here. And also on the sides, you will have a Realme logo right here. And it's overall plastic. This side doesn't have anything. And on this side, you will have a button then we have the volume plus and minus and in the middle you have the ANC button I guess I'll try to figure it out how it works and we have the type C port right here overall the fit and finish seems nice and here it's very flexible no problems with the rubber quality it's great and you do get these 13 mm drivers this is how they look and here let me just bring my phone over here and I'll just try to actually pair it do I have to charge it first? Okay, so there is fast pair of Google. It shows Realme Buds Wireless 3. Click on connect. Right now, I have finally connected to the Realme Buds Wireless 3. I'll just put this aside. Let's open the Realme Link app. So here we have the Realme Buds Wireless 3. If I tap on it, it shows noise cancellation and off and transparency. You can do a custom equalizer preset if you want to from right here, as you can see. In the noise cancellation, there is the mode switching option and you can add the off option so that if you press the noise cancelling button, it will actually switch to off if you want that. You can turn on game mode as well from here to decrease the latency, I guess. Let's check out the connecting and disconnecting time. If I just put the magnets, as you can see, it's disconnected right away. And here, if I just unplug them or like detach them, as you can see, it's connected right away. So it's very fast, no problems so far with it. And the magnets are pretty nice. Now let's talk about why I got these Realme Buds 3, wireless 3, because like I was actually looking at the Nothing or CMF headphones, but they did not have that great of a quality in my opinion, like for the price, but these definitely felt like bang for the buck because here I'm getting more battery life actually with this Realme headphones. But I think overall for the battery life and the sound quality and overall data usage, this one will fare really well. But of course I will be using it for about a week or so and I'll be giving you my full impressions about these headphones. Yes, with the offers on both the headphones of CMF and this Realme one, the price can go about 200 to 300 rupees lower. But if you're looking at the feature straight up, the CMF one offers 50 dB of ANC whereas the Realme 1 provides 30 dB of ANC. So if you're someone who needs a lot more ANC performance, definitely go for the CMF one. But otherwise, I have personally preferred the Realme 1 because I don't need that much ANC, but I would prefer a much better price to performance ratio with much better battery life and a overall good neck band. By the way, you were listening to the audio from the headphones mic of the Realme Buds Wireless 3. And I've also noticed on Twitter that some of the people are actually facing issues with the CMF neck bands build quality. There the rotational crown or the dialer you can say actually wobbles a little bit. I have seen some videos of it. You might be having or you might be not having those issues. This is one thing that actually changed my mind and I went with the Realme 1. And again, in terms of the price to performance value, I got it for 1600 rupees. And that, in my opinion, provides a lot more value 
than the CMF one. I have used the neckband for about a day now and let me actually tell you that the audio quality over here it's really great it's very very decent I would say it's not like boat punchy kind of thing where the sound just like goes way above but here the sound is totally decent and it's loud enough that the quality you can totally notice it in the vocals in the like mids and in the instrument sounds and stuff everything is perfectly proper over here that I have been noticing and also one more thing is that the ANC it may not be that great but even if I say that the ANC it's pretty much really good no problems that I have faced and one thing I straight up noticed switching from the boat headphones that once you put on this realme headphones differently you can notice the ambient sound go away even with the ANC turned off so the isolation of the sound it's really good over here the passive noise cancellation is really good even if you have the ANC right there we also have the transparency mode I have tested that too it's decent I would say and if you're wondering about the battery life well after using it for about 24 hours I still have about 80% juice left and I have received calls and stuff I have listened to music I have watched videos everything with all of those I still have 80% juice left so the battery life will be pretty good I think can last about three days with this particular headphone but I'll talk about everything about that in the full review let me know down there in the comments what you guys think about this unboxing video share this video with your friends if you feel like give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is t2 from kdn tech signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now